All right, guys, welcome to another video for the B11X. Today, we have a new ROM on the horizon, and that's what we're going to look at. So what we're going to do here is we're quickly going to install it. So that will give you help as far as how the steps to install this particular ROM are. And then we'll have a look at it and we'll probably decide if we want to review this ROM or not. But before we get into the details, well, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything. And it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1900 members there now. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, Hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash, let's get going. So what do we have here? We have Raven OS official S ROM. No, this is not Corvus OS Raven update. That is a different thing. This is Raven OS version one and it is official based on Android 12, right? Now, if we talk about the device change log, it says initial official build, Quantic kernel as a default kernel, that's a decent kernel. Enforcing build, safety net passes by default. So right off the bat, they are doing a decent job as far as all the basic requirements are concerned to use a ROM as a daily driver. So all this is there, I've downloaded the ROM, kept it in the pen drive, and before you install it, you need to make sure that you have more than 50% battery on your device. You need to make sure that you have backed up all the information on your phone because we're gonna wipe everything. Now, along with that, if you're coming from MIUI, you need to ensure that you have removed your MI account and remove your Google account, remove your face unlock, pin, pattern, fingerprint, everything, and reboot your device once. Now, after that, of course, the basic requirement is you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have a TWRP installed. I'm using a different TWRP. You will see that once I boot into TWRP, you will, of course, need the latest firmware in order to flash this particular ROM and you will need the ROM file. Now, this ROM does come with G apps, so no need to flash G apps separately. So let's go to restart and select recovery. While it boots to recovery, let me tell you this ROM on the phone right now is the CR Droid 8.2 and I've, I've been using it for the last two to three days for a review, but I did have some issues. So I decided not to review it for now. Maybe we will review it later. So let's boot into TWRP and let's flash Raven OS version one. SKK TWRP, I think that is what they're calling this. Yeah. So go to wipe. Let the touch drivers load first. Go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data internal storage. If you have your files on your phone's internal storage, don't delete or wipe internal storage. I have them on an OTG pen drive. Okay, now go to the main screen, go to install. And as you can see, OTG is selected. So first select the firmware, and then add more zips and then go ahead and select Raven OS Elliot. Select this checkbox, automatically reflash TWRP of flashing the ROM and it will start flashing. Now, this is around 1.8 gigabytes. So in my opinion, that for a custom ROM is a little heavy, even if it comes with G apps. 1.5 GB is where my limitation is for a custom ROM with G apps. So we will boot into this ROM and we will explore it on camera itself to see as to why this ROM is big and what exactly are the features that makes it different. Let's wait for the flashing to be completed and then we can check the ROM out. All right, now, as you can see, everything has been flashed. You can ignore these errors. This is because of this particular TWRP because it reflashed and stuff. So we do wipe, select format data and type in yes. So YES, it'll wipe everything. Now select reboot system. Now at this point, you can choose to go ahead and disconnect the OTG pen drive because the flashing is done and we are on the first boot. So the first boot will take around 30 seconds to a minute. This is a powerful device, so it should not take a very, very long time to boot. I'm really interested in looking at the boot animation and it's pure Google boot animation. So what we'll do is we'll wait for the device to boot up. We will skip the setup part and then we will have a look at the ROM. All right, so the first boot was really, really quick. It didn't even take 30 seconds. So we're quickly going to skip the setup part over here. All right, so just like that, we are on the home screen and this looks interesting. A very, very beautiful wallpaper which says Raven OS. This Google search bar at the bottom is themed. So that is nice. And another good thing to see over here is it's absolutely de-bloated. There is no bloat at all. You do have a camera application though, which is a very, very basic one. 
and uh, you do have Google feed to the left, which again has this particular theme going on. Uh, of course, we are in dark theme right now. So probably we will go ahead and disable that because that's the look that they're going for. And let's see how different the ROM is after that, right? That's what we are here to see. Now, as far as the quick tiles are concerned, there's nothing unusual going on. Wi-Fi calling is enabled is what I can see. Even if you talk about the quick tiles, um, you don't really have a lot of customization. There are some options like caffeine and extra dim and stuff, but you don't really have over the top customization, which is fine. It's not a big deal. You do have advanced reboot though. So let's go to settings over here and let's go to about phone. So this is a decent and interesting lo logo because it is very, very minimalistic. Uh, Raven maintainer, I think it's in Japanese or Chinese is what the name is written. February security patch, Quantic Revolution kernel and Android version 12, of course. So let's look at the settings menu and see if we are going to go ahead and review this particular ROM or not. So you do have something called as Raven house, but before that in battery, you do have thermal profiles. So if you were to change it to benchmark, you don't have the 180 Hz touch sampling rate. Now, another good thing or important thing that we look for always in Android 12 is the game mode or the game dashboard. So let's see here. Uh, is search broken? I don't know. So let's go to Raven House developer and support. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the first thing is the team. That is a good thing. Put your team first always, right? Network traffic indicators. You can go ahead and enable them in the status bar. You do have heads up notifications, status bar items. So the customization is definitely there, right? Now, moving on, you do have the lock screen and then you have the hardware customization. So I don't uh, see the game mode over here. Let's see, gaming dashboard or game dashboard. Let's see here once again, no. And uh, what about uh, schedules? So even the schedules menu is not opening up. So probably the search feature is, you know, broken in this particular ROM. I'm not really sure. We will definitely know that when we actually go ahead and review the ROM. So all in all, Raven OS is interesting, a step in the right direction. It's really, really smooth. It flashes fine and it boots just fine. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this particular ROM? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.